Moses convened all Israel and said to them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and ordinances that I am addressing to you today. You shall learn them and observe them diligently. The Lord our God made a covenant with us at Horeb. Not with our ancestors did the Lord make this covenant, but with us, who are all of us here alive today. The Lord spoke with you face to face in the mountain, out of the fire. At that time I was standing between the Lord and you to declare the, you the words of the Lord, for you were afraid because of the fire and did not go up the mountain. And Moses said, And the Lord said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of a house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing children for the iniquity of the parents to the third and fourth generations of those who reject me. But showing steadfast love to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Observe the Sabbath day and keep it holy as the Lord your God commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But on the seventh day, is a Sabbath to the Lord our, your God. You shall not do any work. You, or, or your son, or your daughter, or your male or female slave, or your ox, or your donkey, or any of your livestock, or the resident alien in your towns, so that your male and female slave may rest as well as you. Remember that you are a slave in the land of Egypt, and the Lord your God brought you out from there with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Therefore, the Lord your God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God commanded you, so that your days may be long, and that it may go well with you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, neither shall you commit adultery, neither shall you steal, neither shall you bear false witness against your neighbor, neither shall you covet your neighbor's wife. Neither shall you desire a neighbor's house, or field, or male, or female slave, or ox, or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children, and talk about them when, when you are at home, and when you are away. When you lie down and when you rise, bind them as a sign on your hand, fix them as an emblem on your forehead, write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Word of God, word of life.